my little fellow cooks. I am Telmo. And I'm Chula. We are the little cooks. Today, we're going to make a submarine with lentils. No, Telmo. A sandwich with anchovies and tomatoes. That's right. A sandwich with anchovies and cream. No, Telmo. We're going to make a sandwich with anchovies and tomato. That's him. And a dinosaur strawberry milkshake. No, just the strawberry shape. That's what I just finished saying. Okay. And the ingredients we'll need for this sandwich are a few slices of bread, sliced tomatoes, and Shelby fillets, and for the super strawberry shake, sugar, yogurt, strawberry ice cream. Powdered vanilla, lemon juice, orange juice, lemon shaving, ice cubes, and strawberry. Great, now we have everything. Let's make the anchovy sandwich. Right, that's very easy. We grab a slice of bread. And when we have the slice of bread on the plate... Oh, uh, just a second, Tula. I haven't finished talking about the bread. All right. What else did you want to say about it? Um, uh, the, 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 the bread is so, so wonderful. So white. Come on now, Telmo. Uh, uh, oh, two bread. Why? Oh, wonderful bread. White and so pure and full of softer bread. You're on your own. I'll start putting on the anchovies. All right. My little cook. These little fish are delicious. And if you ask me, they're a little salty. That's true. They're salty little fish. And of course, they're called anchovies. And they're prepared with a lot of salt. And that's why our grown-up washed the anchovies with water before we got started. All right. We put about four anchovy fillets on the bread. Mmm. It's delicious. And now we add two tomato slices. <laughs> Tomatoes, so good. <laughs> now we just need to cover the tomato and the anchovies. With another slice of bread. That's it. Ready. My first anchovy and tomato sandwich. And mine too. Anchovies, anchovies, anchovies over here. Anchovies, anchovies, anchovies over here. Anchovies, 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 anchovies. anchovies. Now let's eat! Hold on, Telmo. <coughs> what were you saying, Tula? We still need to make the strawberry shake. Then let's do it. We've put four cups of strawberries, which Telmo already washed. So first, we're going to add four tablespoons of sugar over the strawberry. Uh, by the way, Tula, the sandwich is, um, mm, delicious. Yes, I already saw that. We add two scoops of strawberry ice cream. I'll add the yogurt. And I'll add the half of a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, what does vanilla taste like? Like vanilla. What else would it taste like? <laughs> pepper! <laughs> no, not like pepper. Yes! No! Yes! Helmo! All right. Now we add some lemon juice and orange juice. And shavings from another lemon. And, mm, oh yeah, six ice cubes. And where are the ice cubes? They're in the freezer. All right. We add the ice cubes. All right. And now we ask our grown-up to help us with the blender. Grown-up! Can you help us with the blender to blend our strawberry shake, please? Me, me, I wanted to press the button. Hee <laughs> hee. 
And while our grown-up blends up our delicious strawberry shake, we'll go over the ingredients that we've used today. Ingredients to make an anchovy and tomato sandwich. Two slices of bread. Two slices of ripe tomato. Four anchovy fillets without oil. Ingredients to make a strawberry milkshake. Four tablespoons of sugar. Two scoops of strawberry ice cream. One natural yogurt. A half teaspoon of vanilla. Lemon juice. Orange juice. Lemon shavings. Six ice cubes. And four cups of strawberries. <laughs> That's because you ate your sandwich before. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna make another one. Tamo, we need to say goodbye now. Not busy, Tula. Say goodbye to our friends. All right. Goodbye, my little cooks. Until next time. Mwah, mwah. Tomo and I'm Tula. We, we are, are the, the little, little cooks. cooks. Today we are going to show you how to make an elephant in vinegar. An elephant in vinegar? Telmo. Oops, you're right. How about a steam lamp? No, we're making a chocolate cake. Oh yeah. That's my favorite kind of cake. <laughs> a chocolate cake. It's very simple. Grab some paper and pencil so you can write down the ingredients that we need. Hold on a sec. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Egg. A yogurt. Flour. Sugar. Olive oil. Yeast. And last but not least, cocoa powder. Now let's get started. First, we ask our grown-up to preheat the oven for us to the temperature of 350 degrees so that it can start heating up. Grown-up! Can you please preheat the oven to 350 degrees? Pretty please? Thank you! Let's begin! We grab a bowl and we drop three eggs into it. Telmo, without the shell. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> without the shell. I start to beat them with the mixer. Now I grab the yogurt and I drop it inside the bowl. Use a little spoon to help you so that you don't leave anything behind. All right. Mm. You're not supposed to eat it, Telmo. You're supposed to put it in the bowl. Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> All right, we'll use the yogurt container as a measuring cup. Put in two and a half cups of flour. And don't stop mixing the ingredients so that you don't end up with any lumps. And now we can add the yeast. Tello, first we need to put in the sugar. Oh, it's way too late. <laughs> All right, that's no problem. And now two cups of sugar. Uh, how about three? No, Telmo, because then it's going to be too sweet. Oh, well that's perfect. Better not, Telmo. All right. Oof, this is starting to get me a little tired. Oh, oh, do you want me to take over for you? There's no need. I think I can make it till the end. <laughs> now add the oil. All right, one cup of olive oil coming up. And now, the best part. That's it, the cocoa. The super cocoa. 
One cup of super cocoa powder. <laughs> this is ready now. And last of all, the pepper. What? Pepper? Why don't we try a fantastic experiment? Yummy chocolate cake with pepper. Not pepper, Telmo. I really don't like chocolate cake with pepper. Oh, darn it. But we need to try that some other day. It has to be delicious. Hmm. All right, for another day. All right, well, that's all the ingredients. Even though I've mixed it up very well, there must be still a few lumps. You need to mix it with my super strength. I don't have super strength, Telmo. I do. Now let me get my hands on that. All right. Ah! <sighs> the cake dough is ready. Okay, we grab the cake pan we're going to use to put in the oven and we coat the entire surface with butter. <laughs> is everything okay, Super Telmo? Yes. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my strength back. Us superheroes do that, you know? Right. Okay, my friends, what I'm doing right now is so the dough won't stick to the pan. And while Telmo tries to get his super strength back, I'll put the dough into the cake pan. What are you doing? Mmm. This will help me get my super strength back. You're not supposed to do that. You're gonna get a tummy ache. Well, superheroes don't ever get any. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> the batter is ready to be put inside the oven. But for that, we're gonna need the help of a grown-up because we're still not old enough to do that. Grown-up! Oh, please, can you put this cake batter into the oven? Don't forget, you have to preheat it first so that when it's hot, you're ready to bake. All right, little cooks. The oven is really hot now. Don't get near it because you could get burned. We have to let the cake bake for 25 minutes. Ah, caw, they're done. A caw, they're done. Remember, the cake will be hot when it comes out of the oven. And you should never, ever, ever eat a cake when it's hot. Because you might get a bad tummy ache. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so hungry. And the best thing is that you can add anything. We can fill it with marmalade and cover it with melted chocolate. Oh, and dried fruit. Almonds, pine seeds, <gasps> and pepper. All right, we can add pepper too if you want. I really love pepper. My little friends, it's time for us to repeat the ingredients to you so you can know how to make a delicious chocolate cake. Ingredients for chocolate cake. Three eggs, one natural yogurt, two and a half cups of flour, two cups of sugar, one cup of cocoa, one envelope of yeast, one cup of olive oil, butter to grease the pan. Ta-da! What do you think? We've added some strawberry marmalade on the inside and we've covered it with powdered sugar. Let's go show it to our grown-up now. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Be very careful, Telmo. Please don't drop it. No problem. I've got superpowers. <laughs> oh! Telmo. And I'm Tula. We, we are, are the, the Little, little Cooks. Today, we're going to make chocolate. No, Telmo. Today, we're going to make cookies. And why don't we make chocolate, Tula? Well, because I feel like making cookies. I know. Today, we'll make cookies with delicious chocolate chips. That's perfect. <laughs> Let's 
start with the ingredients. Okay, I'm so very hungry. To make chocolate chip cookies, we will need... Sugar! Butter! Eggs! Salt! Flour! Chocolate chips! Brown sugar! Baking soda! And vanilla! Let's get started. Okay, before we begin anything... Why don't we make a huge cookie with chocolate chips instead of making a bunch of little ones? I don't think so. We'll make a giant cookie some other day. Today, we'll make lots of them, but little ones. All right, the thing is, I'm super hungry. To start with, and while we prepare the dough, we need to turn on the oven so that it can start heating up. But to do that, we'll ask our grown-up to do that for us. Because, you know, we're still not allowed to do that. Grown-up! Can you turn on the oven for us, please? To 325 degrees. We'll grab a bowl and put in one large cup of sugar. And I'll add another one cup of brown sugar. Now, I'll add one large cup of butter. And I'll add two eggs. We need to mix everything up with a wooden spoon. And while Telmo is mixing up the ingredients, I'll add a pinch of salt. And now we add two large cups of flour. And now the chocolate! No, Telmo. We still need to add the baking soda. Oh. Half a tablespoon of baking soda. That's it. Oh, and the vanilla? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One teaspoon is enough to give it some good flavor. Mm, it smells yummy. Yeah. Um, um, um. Telmo! We won't have any chocolate left for the cookies. All right, but, but there's still a lot. Stop. But I love chocolate. My dear little cooks, you can make whatever variations you like with the cookies. For example, you can add nuts or hazelnuts or add more chocolate chips. <laughs> right, Telmo? Telmo? Yeah? What were you doing? Well... We need to keep mixing this. Cookies, yummy cookies, with tasty chips. Of chocolate. With tasty chips. Of chocolate. With tasty chips. Of chocolate. And, and, and the chocolate, when do we add it? Now. Great. We add the entire bag of chocolate chips. Cool. They're going to be delicious. And the best thing is that they're super easy to make. And now to the oven. And later, we're all going to eat delicious chocolate chip cookies. Just a second, Telmo. First, we need to put them on the cookie sheet. Start dropping tablespoons of dough with some space in between so that they don't stick together. Perfect. To the oven. But for that, we'll ask our grown-up to help us, since we're not allowed to do that yet. Grown-up! Can you put our chocolate chip cookies in the oven, please? And we'll leave them there for about 10 minutes. A car, they're done! A car, they're done! Mmm, they smell so good! Thank you! Okay, my dear cooks. Now our yummy chocolate chip cookies are ready. But we have to wait for them to cool down a little bit. We can't touch them because they're very hot and will get burned. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Telmo, I told you they were very hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ask the grown to make it better. Aye. If we get burned, we always need to notify our grown-ups since they know exactly what to do. In the meantime, let's go over the ingredients. Ingredients for chocolate chip cookies. Seven ounces of white sugar, seven and a half ounces of brown sugar, seven and a half ounces of butter, two eggs, a pinch of salt, 12.5 ounces of flour, a half tablespoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, 
and one bag of chocolate chips. Um, uh, can I have another with whipped cream, please? Telmo, you mm. eat way too fast. You're gonna get sick. I would do it, but hee <laughs> hee. Aye. Oh, oh. <laughs> My dear little cooks, you can do what we're doing and add whatever you most like to your cookie. Whipped cream, dulce de leche. Chocolate? <laughs> Everything that you like. Uh, can you um give me another chocolate chip cookie with the uh, with some whipped cream on it, please? Ugh. Telmo and Tula. We are the Raspberry Brothers. Raspberry? Not Raspberry, Telmo. Cooks. We are cooks. Oh, yeah. I got confused because we went to the forest today, and Tula and I are going to prepare a delicious fruit salad. So I was thinking about the strawberries, the blackberries, the raspberries, and as Telmo was saying, we are going to be making a fresh fruit salad of forest fruits. Uh, Tula, it's better to say it like this. <clears throat> a delicious fruit salad of forest fruits. That way is better. We need to introduce our fruit friends the right way. They are very important because they can keep us healthy, and aside from that, they're delicious. Well, all right, you have a point. Paper and pencil, Telmo. Oh, yeah. Paper and pencil. Ready? In order to make a fruit salad of forest fruits, we are going to need strawberries. Cherries. Raspberries. Gooseberries. Blackberries, sugar, and oranges. Let's begin. First of all, before we do anything else, we need to wash the fruits. Because even though they look clean, we always need to wash them before we eat them. I'll put them under the water so that they can soak. And later, I will drain them. First, the strawberries, which are my favorite. Mmm, I love strawberries. These strawberries are different to the big strawberries that you often find in supermarkets. If you look closely, these strawberries are much smaller, but that doesn't mean they're less delicious. All right, the strawberries have been washed now. Now we're going to put the cherries in. Let me tell you a little bit about where cherries come from. That way, they'll taste a lot better. Cherries come from the cherry tree. The cherry tree is a very beautiful tree. Be careful when you stick a cherry in your mouth to eat it because it has a pit. Don't eat the pits. <laughs> Look at my earring. Tula, later on we're gonna have to eat your earring cherries. All right, let's go get the blackberries. Oh, blackberries. My friends, be careful not to get stained by the blackberries because when they are very ripe, they stain you a lot. Oh. That doesn't scare me, Talmo. Oh, darn it. That doesn't scare me, Telmo. Oh, darn it. Wild blackberries are also very beautiful, but be careful when you pick them because they will pinch you. Ow! <laughs> the blackberries are ready. Now it's time for the gooseberries. Gooseberries are like very small red grapes that are very beautiful. You can do many things with gooseberries. There's gooseberry syrup, gooseberry jelly, gooseberry ice cream. Mmm. Ah! If you keep that up, we won't have any blackberries for the fruit salad. Oh. Go on, clean your face. And now, the raspberries. You like
like strawberries, but I happen to like raspberries most of all. They are very beautiful and delicious. When I'm walking in the forest and I come upon a raspberry shrub, it's like magic. Be careful not to eat too many of them at once because they will make you feel sick. We have washed all the fruits now. We'll put all of them in a bowl and we'll mix them up well. I'll start squeezing the oranges that our adult has already cut up for us. All right. I'll go squeeze the oranges. So we can make a fruit salad that is very nice and tasty and yummy. So yummy. It's going to be beautiful. Butter pop bum This is ready now. This is almost ready. Now we just need to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on it. Put a lot on there. No, Talmo. Fruits are already very sweet. We'll just put a few spoonfuls to make them a little bit sweeter, and that's it. Well, I'll put the orange juice over the top so that it can blend with the sugar and the fruits of the forest will absorb it well. And now to the fridge. Oh, we forgot the pepper, Tula. No, Talmo. Come on, Tula, just a little bit won't hurt. Telmo, if you want, when you put it on your plate, you can add some pepper, but not now. I don't like a fruit salad of forest fruits with pepper. All right. We need to put it in the fridge. But to do that, we're going to need the help from our grown-up because we can't do it on our own. Grown-up! Can you please put the fruit salad of fresh forest fruits in the fridge for us, please? We will leave the fruit salad in the fridge for one hour so that they're deliciously cold. And now, let's go back over the recipe. Strawberries, cherries, raspberries, gooseberries, blackberries, one spoon of sugar and orange juice. Now let's eat. Salad of fresh forest fruits is delicious. <laughs> you want some? No, thank you. <laughs> Telmo, you look like a tomato. <laughs> oh, darn it. I'm just sleepy. I had nightmares and my tummy really hurts. So I'm just super. Oh, wow. And why is that? I don't know, Tula. Maybe you ate something yesterday that wasn't good for you. I don't know. I had a piece of chocolate cake, three chocolate bars, a chocolate milkshake, and uh, I think that was all. Oh, yeah, and 12 chocolate truffles. And you're surprised that you have a stomach ache and that you couldn't sleep? Yeah. Well, today we're going to make a healthy breakfast. Hmm, dinosaurs and chocolate? <laughs> no, tell them I said healthy. Okay. A dinosaur with chocolate and a piece of lettuce. <laughs> 
no Telmo. We're going to make some delicious muesli for breakfast. And what is that? You'll see right now. It's very healthy and it's also delicious. Does it have chocolate? No Telmo. Oh darn it. But I'm sure you're going to love it once you taste it. All right. Let's start with the ingredients. We need to make our delicious muesli and fruit. We need yogurt, rolled oats, honey, peeled and sliced apples, raisins, oranges, and the fruit of your choice, and nuts. I like it so far. <laughs> Of course you do. Good, let's go. To start with, we grab a bowl. A bowl, okay. Mm. Hmm, this bowl is very little. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. Okay. Much bigger. Telmo. Telman. This bowl is way too large. <laughs> you got a point. Maybe I'm still sleepy. Uh, I am sleepy. I am sleepy. And I need to wake up. Because you have to make some yummy muesli. Very, very yummy. I know, but I am still very sleepy. Then wake up, wake up, wake up right now. This one is perfect. <laughs> Good, my little friends. First, we put the peeled and sliced apples into the bowl. Our grown-up has prepared two for us because we're going to make two portions of muesli. What else? A handful of raisins. Let's put two instead, because <laughs> I really like raisins. <laughs> now we have to squeeze an orange. I'll do it! I have one doubt, Tula. Tell me. Why is it called muesli? <laughs> That's a good question. Muesli is a very common breakfast in Switzerland. At the start of the century, a Swiss doctor made muesli, a very well-known meal. His name was Dr. Bitcher Benner. Bitcher what? Banner. Bitcher Banner. He made muesli famous and the best breakfast in the world. Oh, well that's cool. I hope it tastes really good. This is ready now. Yes, you'll see. Now we put a spoonful of honey and we mix it up so that it blends nicely with the orange juice. Okay, it's really blended now. Perfect. Pour the juice inside the bowl and let's go get the nuts. A good handful. Make it two. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to like this. <laughs> I'm glad. And now... Just a moment. What's wrong now, Telmo? You need to hide, Tula. What is it? Look, <laughs> it's an evil fly. It's come to steal that doctor's muesli. Don't be silly, Telmo. Look, it wants to steal our miraculous recipe, but it won't get away with it because Super Telmo is here. Telmo? Hold on, you'll see. <laughs> you can come out now, Tula. The danger is over now. I don't know what danger you're talking about. It was a fly that likes to steal recipes. All right then, let's move on. Now it's time for the yogurt. I know, two yogurts, one for each one. Exactly. This is looking really good. Of course. Now it's time for the rolled oats. All right. How many spoonfuls? Three for each one. Well, here go six spoonfuls. Good. I think this is ready. Mmm, it's great. Now let's eat. No, Telmo. We still need to add some fruit. But I'm so hungry. The fruit will make it taste much better. <laughs> Pepper is a fruit, right? You know it's not, Telmo. <laughs> well, then I choose raspberries. And I, a few blackberries because I love them. So that's it. Stupendous! And while we set the table for breakfast, let's go over the ingredients for some delicious muesli. Ingredients for muesli, two portions. A handful of raisins, juice from one orange, two apples, two yogurts, Six spoons of rolled oats, a handful of nuts, one spoonful of honey, and fruit of choice. This is delicious! You see, Telmo? That doctor! Uh, 
what's his name, did a great thing by giving us this recipe. Dr. Bitcher Benner. That's it. It would be great if we could eat muesli every day and combine it with the fruit of the season. Is chocolate a seasonal fruit? Tell no. Yeah, it was just a joke. Everyone, calm down! Here comes that evil recipe stealing fly again! Goodbye, my little friends, until the next time! And I'm Tula. We are the Cooking Tomatoes! <laughs> It'd be so fun to be tomato. Not really, Telmo. We, we are, are the, the Little Cooks! cooks. Alright, let's get the recipe for today. Okay. We're going to make a remote control! A remote control? Yes, alright. A remote control is very dry. It's hard to eat. So, well then, so let's make a remote control coated in batter. Elmo? Yeah? That probably tastes very bad. Yeah, it might give us a stomach ache. Ugh. Let's make some bread rolls. Yes, that is much better. Good. The ingredients we're going to use to make delicious bread rolls are... Uh, just a moment, Tula. I need to get a paper and pencil. Mm -mm. Alrighty then. Well then, my dear friends, to make some delicious bread rolls, we're going to need sugar. Eggs. Baking yeast. All-purpose flour. Olive oil. Salt. Lemon shavings. Orange shavings. Now let's get to work. We'll grab a bowl and we'll put three eggs inside of it. I'll crack the eggs open. And now I'll beat them so the yolks and the whites come together. I, while Tula is beating the eggs, will add six tablespoons of sugar. Why do I always have to mix this stuff? That's not true. I do it. Oh, only sometimes. Be careful. You're getting sugar on my arms, Telmo. Oh, sorry. And now, in another small bowl, we'll put in four tablespoons of baking yeast. I'll add a cup of milk and we'll mix up the ingredients really well. And the best thing is that in order for it to dissolve, we need to mix it up with our hands. Oh, oh, oh I want to do it. No, Talmo, because I said it first. I didn't hear anything because I said it first. None of that, you liar. Whoa. This is so fun. Ha! Huh. All right, it's ready, Tula. Now we need to put it inside the big bowl that has the eggs and the sugar. Just a second, I'm finishing. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and add a half a cup of olive oil. All right. Come on, we need to keep making the bread rolls. All right. And now we keep on mixing it. It's your turn to do it. And why? I've been doing this for a long time. Now it's your turn. All right, okay. We add four large cups of all-purpose flour. For those who do not know, all-purpose flour is flour that is used in bakeries for bread rolls, little muffins. It's the super flour. Normal flour is self-rising flour. You can easily find all-purpose flour in bakeries. Imagine it, Tula. Super all-purpose flour against 
Count Dracula. With its power, super all-purpose flower would leave Dracula all white, and he'd have to hide in his cave because he wouldn't be scary anymore. That's very cool, but keep mixing up the batter. My superpowers are in action! Now all we need to do is add the shavings from a lemon and the orange. Oof. <laughs> oh, now we add a teaspoon of salt. All right. <laughs> it's come out perfect! All thanks to my superpowers! Now we cover it with the cloth. Does this work? It's disgusting! Where'd you get that from? It was on the floor. I've been stepping on it for a while. This is the cloth that we need to use. Well, I don't see that much of a difference. <sighs> we'll let the dough ferment for an hour and a half in a warm place so that the dough will ferment properly. In the meantime, I'll use this time to talk to Telmo. Our grown-up has just turned on the oven to 375 degrees. It's coming out perfect. Now we cut it into little portions with the help of a spoon. Portions for bread bowls. Yes, and we need them for a little more. Some advice, my friends. Put a little bit of oil on your hands and that way the dough won't stick to you. <laughs> we put them on a tray. It's right here. And we let them sit a little while longer until they're twice the size. I'm cutting them a little bit now. And I'm painting them with a little bit of egg. And I add a little bit of sugar. And while our grown-up puts the bread rolls in the oven, we'll go over the ingredients to make super bread rolls. Ingredients for bread rolls. One and a third cups of milk, 4.50 ounces of sugar, a half cup of olive oil, three eggs, 1.2 ounces of baking yeast, 26.50 ounces of strength flour, one teaspoon of salt, lemon shavings, orange shavings, ingredients for decoration, and one egg to paint the bread rolls and a little bit of sugar to coat the top. And here they are! After you bake them for 14 minutes, they come out perfect! We just need to do the most important thing, eat them! Alright my friends, until the next time! Telmo. Well, then I'm going to be a chocolate bar. No, Telmo. You may want to be a lot of things, but you are a boy. Oh, darn it. Let's go get today's recipe, Telmo. Yes. <laughs> Do you know something? No. What? That I don't care about not being a cheese sandwich. <laughs> That's good. Paper and pencil, Telmo. Okay. Paper and pencil. Telmo? You made it too big! <laughs> this is better. Yes, a lot better. I'm ready. Today, we're going to make a crab meat sandwich. Oh, that's great! And with it, a banana shake with delicious strawberry jam. Awesome! And the ingredients we're going to need are... Yes, that's it. The ingredients we're going to need are... Hey, I've already said that. That what? Well, the ingredients we're going to need are... 
All right, Tomo, don't get like that. No, I only pointed it out because if you say, then the ingredients we're going to need are, then I'm going to have to be the first to say the ingredients. Telmo, that isn't always the way. Uh. Let's go on, Telmo. Okay. Uh, who gets to say all that about what ingredients we're going to need? Slice bread! Mayonnaise! One can of crab meat! Ketchup! And lettuce! See, it wasn't that complicated. Of course not. <laughs> well, now we turn to the banana shake with strawberry jam. Okay. <laughs> Who's going to start? Bananas! Milk! Strawberry jam! Yogurt! Sugar! <laughs> Let's get started. First, the crab meat sandwich. Of course. We'll make one for each of us. Right. I'll make mine and you'll make yours. I'm going to put a lot of crab meat on mine and a lot of ketchup and a lot of mayonnaise. Do you want me to make yours and you make mine, Tula? <laughs> Better not, Telmo. Better not. All right. For starters, we'll grab a bowl, and in it, we'll put the can of crab meat with four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Roger that. I'll put in the ketchup. Okay. But we're only adding three tablespoons. Only three? Yes, Telmo. If not, it won't come out that good. Okay. <laughs> Three tablespoons. It's ready. Good. Now we have to mix it all together. All right, it's all mine. Doo, doo, doo. All right, Telmo. While you stir the crab meat with the mayonnaise and ketchup, I'll place a piece of lettuce on top of each slice of bread. Okay. Good. Now you can add a couple of tablespoons of crab mixture onto each slice of bread. All right, here's the grub. Flop. Telmo, don't put so much on. Do you want this one to be mine? Wasn't it going to be? This one was for you, Tula. I think it's better if this one's for you. Well, okay. There. I didn't add too much because it's not good to eat too much. Perfect. Okay. And now we place the other slice of bread on top. And done. Our crab meat sandwich is finally ready. Let's make the banana shake with strawberry jam before eating the crab meat sandwich. Good. We'll place a banana. Let's do this, Tula. You announce the ingredients and I'll add them. All right. <clears throat> I'm ready. One banana. One banana. One cup of milk. One cup of milk. Two tablespoons of strawberry jam. Two tablespoons of strawberry jam. One yogurt. One yogurt. And two tablespoons of sugar. And two tablespoons of sugar. We're done. Perfect. All we have left to do is ask our grown-up to blend up the ingredients. And done. Grown up! Can you please blend the ingredients for our banana shake with strawberry jam, please? Ingredients for the crab meat sandwich. Serves two. One can of crab meat. Four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Three tablespoons of ketchup. Four slices of bread. And two lettuce leaves. Ingredients for the banana shake with strawberry jam. Serves two. One banana, one and a third cup of milk, two tablespoons of strawberry jam, one yogurt, and two tablespoons of sugar. Nom, 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 nom. This is delicious! What are you writing? <laughs>